Um, I didn't have a video planned today, and I really wanted to do another TBR list. And this one says 10 anime characters with the strongest punches after Saitama. Now, now there's already a whole there's there's already a whole bag we can get to. Like, why the fuck is Ed there? Why is Edward there? Why is Edward there? What the after? The, okay, no, wait, 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 wait. Hey, now, now that I'm reading the title aloud, it says after say Thomas. So all these punches, all these niggas, all these niggas punches that we finna get into are weaker than say Thomas. But somewhere on the same level, I see fucking Goku there. Nah, nah, this. Okay, this don't piss me off. Okay, I, I, I'm pretty sure I already, know, I already know who number one is. But who's number 10? Number 10. Natsu Dragnail. Natsu Dragnail grows stronger from the encouragement of his friends. Fairy tale. I mean, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. You kind of spitting, but I, I feel like you, you, you low key just sold Natsu's character short. But let me read it. Let me read it. Natsu Dragnail is known for his fiery nature and his willingness to jump in fit, fist first. This doesn't always end up so well for him. But there are some moments where his recklessness, recklessness can, can be praised and he does save his friends. One such fight is a battle between Fairy Tale and Agnologia. I haven't made it here yet in Fairy Tale. Despite their difference in power, it wasn't expected that Natsu would win this fight. However, when Natsu became fired up by his friends, praising him, cheering him on, his normally strong punch turned deadly, allowing him to defeat Agnologia. Oh well, oh, I just spoiled number ten. I, I, I guess. If, I guess. Number nine, All Might. Wait, wait. Is this? Is this? Like, like, is this going? Is this list out of order, or is it going? Is this list going like ranked? Because if so, what they're implying is that All Might can wash not to which I don't. Not that. I don't. Nah. That, nah. Nah, but number nine, All Might. All Might channels the last of his power in the one final punch, right? They're probably talking about United States of Smash. All Might is a former number one hero in the My Hero Academia series. With his impressive muscular build and unique quirk, he is a formidable opponent. And he, when there's no other option, All Might channels his remaining strength and power into his fist. The impact from the blow not only creates a high wind impact, but is also... They're just explaining All Might. They're not saying why he's... Like, okay, number eight, Luffy. Can Luffy beat All Might? I mean, pro yeah, I think I think Luffy putting All Might on his ass, actually. But can Luffy beat Natsu? I don't know. I don't know. Luffy, Luffy's punch sense is lit. Okay, they just despite his very slim yet muscular physique, Luffy is known to get into a brawl or several. When the situation calls for it, combined with his somewhat lacking intelligence, his fearlessness, and his de desire to protect, he why is there not a comma there? He cares. Wait, and, and his desire to protect, he cares about. Wait, that doesn't sound. He can certainly be a deadly opponent. After witnessing Haichi being shot, Luffy grew furious. And, okay, they're just explaining. Okay, they're just saying. They're just explaining. A a punch Luffy did not even Luffy's strongest punch. That's it's de this is definitely not Luffy's strongest punch, like at all. Like not even close. Number seven. I don't know who the, who this nigga is. I don't know who this nigga is. Sitting Goku boss or Sam. I'm going. I'm just. I'm just going to number number six. He's looking for Whoa 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 whoa. What the f nah nah wait no no cause I'm pretty sure that this late that these least that this list is in, is going like like there is like 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 number ten is the weakest number one is the strongest and they're just, like Luffy, Luffy ain't touching Natsu I mean not Luffy Deku ain't touching Natsu I don't even think Deku touching Luffy right now whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Nice. Okay. Uses fist. Izuku Door uses fist to take down an overpower. Well, I guess this is Deku's strongest punch in the 
in it's not a no in the mall in the anime. Yeah, this, I, I'm I'm just going to guess that this is definitely. But still, like that's I don't think that's stronger than the United States of Smash. And okay, like his idol, All Might Izuku Midori has an ability known as All for One, a quirk that can be transferred to a different host. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Izuku, in the beginning he had no control over his over this. When using this quirk, he would severely injure himself. During the fight between Izuku and Overall, Izuku constantly and ruthlessly punches Overall with incredible strength to break through. Okay, that was okay. Number five, Jonathan Jo. What? 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 Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think. I'm gonna just read it. The rivalry between Jonathan Joestar and Dio Brando is nothing short of legendary. Whenever the two end up in a skirmish, either together or separately, these fights are well worth the watch. So when the biggest confrontation of the series occurred, viewers knew that it was going to be epic. Using his bare fist and a single punch, Jonathan was able to severely injure Dio. Dio. <laughs> Dio. Even even though Dio was incredibly strong, it wasn't enough to finish off the antagonist for good. But it just goes to show Dio and the viewers how strong. According to the list, Jonathan watches Deku, fucking this nigga, Luffy, All Might, and Natsu. That's what, that's what they saying. That's what they're saying happens. Number four, my guy. Now, this, like, like this in the term of ranks. Maybe. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. This is the term of ranks. I feel like this, this makes sense. My guy being number four. What the fuck? What is it there? This, what was this list about? It's punches. People with strong punches after say Tom. Mike. My guy, Taijutsu ability is almost inhuman. Due to his inability to perform ninjutsu or genjutsu, my guy had to train religiously to become a decent Taijutsu user in order to become a shinobi. I almost had a stroke. Through many ups and downs, he was able to achieve his goal and eventually went on to become a master of Taijutsu. Ah, oh, fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just saw number three. While fighting Madari Chia, the antagonist prays God for his fighting prowess. His level of strength is almost inhuman, but when he does land a punch, it makes an incredible impact. Then, when he opens the eighth gate, his strengths. Okay. I saw. Yeah. Number number three is Aaron. No, number three is Aaron. No, no, I'm. 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 I'm, I'm my head cannon to make this work to make this list seem even worse is that this is from weakest to strongest punches but i but they didn't say that or if they did i didn't fucking read it so what these niggas is saying is aaron aaron physical wise is watching guy deku that one nigga i ain't know all my not to and luffy See, we all be smoking crack sometimes. I just, like, 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 if that's what they think, I'ma need some of that, for real. Cause these, these niggas, these niggas like, okay, you know what, let me read it. Aaron Yeager's Titan form can literally knock someone's head off. So, so can everyone else you listed before him. Okay. As a human, Aaron's abilities are quite limited, as his main weapon is his ODM gear. He unfortunately doesn't grow stronger with the power of friendship. <laughs> with the power of friendship or encouragement, as many other anime protagonists do. However, when he shifts into his tight form, didn't this nigga, like, like, the thought of him, when, like, when, when, uh, when Aaron was fighting Aang, like uh, the, the final fight, fat battle between him and Annie, right? Did that nigga wasn't that nigga literally getting mad at the fact that Annie was 
killing his friends. Then he like let that nigga like didn't he literally wasn't wasn't he literally upset that that Annie lied to him about being a, being his friend? So I don't I don't know about that whole he doesn't get any encouragement or power or friendship. He he gets it, but not as much or not like like it's very little, but he, he definitely got it there. But I'm gonna continue reading, man. Maybe maybe CBR will woe will woe me. And his Titan form, Aaron, is much faster, stronger, and all the more deadly. Yes, that nigga is a Titan. The very first time that Aaron transformed, he transformed, he punched an enemy Titan with incredible speed and accuracy. In doing so, he ended up punching the Titan's head off. Head off. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who's number two? Who's number one? Fuck! No, no, what? No, no! Shoot! 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 Number two. Number two. Is Goku? Who's number one? Who's number one? Who's number one? I, I would like to see who the fuck number one is. Please, 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 please. Oh, no Goku slander. No Goku slander. Okay, you know what? Son Goku is one of Earth's greatest defenders and has been training his whole life to be a fighter. As one of the strongest fighters in the universe, as one of the strongest fighters in the galaxy, it goes without saying that Goku would have one of the strongest punches in anime. Uh huh. From an early age, Goku has trained to be the best fighter and eventually becomes Earth's greatest defender. Throughout the many Dragon Ball series, Goku only grows stronger. His attacks are not only fast and accurate, but the strength behind them is almost unbelievable. In a fight against Freezer in Dragon Ball Z, Goku lands a well-deserved punch in Freezer's stomach, knocking him in half. Okay. Um. Uh. Nah, bro. Like all the shit that we've seen, say Saitama do in the in the anime. I've only watched the anime, season one, season two. Motherfucking goddamn, like like saying Saga Goku could do that. So, so I don't I don't understand. Like 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 how is Goku's punch after that, right? And even like like the fight with Boro, where Boro said that he'd fucking. He he, 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 it, it got interpreted, like, like what Bor Boro said, it got interpreted two ways, but it's, he said that he wiped, like, like, everything off the face of the earth, and he, like, I think, or I remember that he's saying that he just, like, blow that bitch up, but, like, Vegeta, do we, do we not remember Vegeta waved his hand, and, like, blow up, blew up, like, fucking four planets, he could wave his hand. Now, I don't know if these planets were bigger or smaller than Earth, but still, multiple planets getting destroyed by just, just that nigga waving his hand. And Goku, like, like, literally almost beat him. I think, I think that, that, like, if Goku fought Boros, like, it, it'd have been a harder fight, but Goku would have won, still. Like, Saiyan Saga. I'm talking about Saiyan Saga. But literally everything after is, like, washing everything in, in one punch man that I've seen. In the anime, so I don't I don't understand how Goku's punches after that. And I was just talking about Z. They're still super when this nigga literally punched Beerus's hand, and 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 motherfuckers scream all the whoa! What the fuck? These niggas keep on doing this. The universe will fucking die. And that was like the first fucking arc. But Goku's at you know what? I want to see number one. I want to see the blasphemy on number one. Edward, <coughs> Edward Elric. What the? F what? <sighs> Edward Elric. E Edward Elric has a strong sense of justice and has no problem using his fists. He may be the state's youngest alchemist, but Edward knows how to throw a punch. At his core. Edward is a type of character that cares deeply for his friends and family, has a strong sense of loyalty, and a pretty in a pretty grasp on what is right and wrong. So when someone does something that he believes goes against his moral compass, he can be quite terrifying. When Shell Tucker turned his daughter and dog into a chimera, Edward Edward had no problem punching the disgraceful alchemist. He also even ended up winning a fist fight with his father.
It's not like Edward still punches like a regular ass nigga. His his auto no arm, yeah, that'll probably hurt a whole hell of a lot more, but that's cause, that's cause that's fucking metal. But Edward Edward still punches like a normal nigga. Why is he on this list? And why is he number one on why is he on this list? His out like like Edward's alchemy is is what should be fucking is, is what you should be worried about. Not this nigga punching you. What? Why is Edward on this list? Why is Edward on this list? Is, these niggas got anything else to say? No. No, nothing else. Nothing. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah, man. Anyways, man. Yeah, that's been a video. CBR, CBR sucks. Uh. All right. Bye.